Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here with the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon moveset video competitive guide on Ultra Necrozma. Now this Pokemon is pretty cool with the Psychic Dragon Stab, base 129 speed, um, and then base 167 in both of its offensive uh, stats. Uh, it is immune to nothing, but it does have only three weaknesses being Bug, Ghost, and Dark and then resistant to fighting and psychic. Uh, it also has a really cool ability, which is essentially an expert belt. Basically, if your moves are super effective against the opponent, they uh, do 1.2 times the damage. So it literally holds an extra belt because of its ability. Now, it does have a few downsides. The first one being that it has to run the Ultra Necrozium Z. So, meaning you can't run a Choice Scarf on this Pokemon. Uh, you can't run, you know, choice spend any items besides the Ultra Necrozium Z, and basically you have to Ultra Burst from Dusk Main or Dawn Wings Necrozma. So that's one of the things holding it back. Another thing being 392 speed, so just two points shy of Mega Gengar, and it can be trapped and knocked out by Shadow Ball. Now, before we get more so into this moveset video, I do want to say that there are more moveset videos down below. If you can check out my playlist, I'll be covering all the um, new Pokemon from Ultra Sun and Moon. Then there's only like one or two left I want to do. Um, which is uh, the Lycan Rock, Dust Lycan Rock, and uh, also I want to talk about Poi Pole in the lower tiers. And then, if you guys want, I can do um, updated move sets on Pokemon for Ultra Sun and Moon. I also plan on doing Wi Fi battles and stuff, so feel free to subscribe if you want and follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Those links are down below. Uh, so, the first set we have is Calm Mind. Now, like I said, before you get this Pokemon, you have to be either Dawn Wings um, Necrozma or Dust Main Necrozma. I will always advise this, right? I will always advise, unless you're using Moongeist Beam, right? Unless you're using Moongeist Beam, use Necrozma Dusk Main. And the reason for this is it has great resistances being Psychic and Steel before Ultra Burst, so before you actually become Ultra Necrozma. I'm sorry, I just love that name. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. But before you become that Ultra Necrozma, you want to use this uh, mainly because your stats prior don't actually matter. For example, if you're using a Calm Mindset, you can just run Timid. Uh, Dusk Main, and even though yes, it has lower special attack than its attack, it doesn't matter because when you become this, you get these stats, right? So this is a lot better. And the only reason to actually use um, Dawn Wings over uh, Dusk Main prior to your Ultra Burst is if you are using Moon Guys Beam. That's literally it. The only thing, because you need to use this form to get Moongeist Beam on Ultra Necrozma. Besides that, there's no point because this one does not have the best resistances, being Psychic Ghost, uh, weak to Dark and whatnot, which is super common. Obviously, the other one is also weak to Dark, but on top of uh, having Prism Armor, it's not four times weak to Dark, and it resists Fairy, which is really, really important, among other types. But yeah, that's just what to say. Like, if you are using Ultra Necrozma, I advise, unless you are using Moongeist Beam, use Dusk Main. To transform into it so uh, like I said for the first set which is calm mind uh, this set is just a more uh, a special variant of it it's calm mind dragon pulse photon geyser and heat wave uh, dragon pulse and photon geyser is your main form of stab as we talked about earlier uh, photon geyser is a special attack that calculates the user's highest attack stat so uh, basically if your special attack is higher than your attack it will calculate that into the damage and it will always attack your opponent's special defense this move can also work on physical sets as well as we'll keep going because uh, while it still is a special attack it will take into account uh, your highest stat. So if your attack stat is highest, it will take into account that. It will still always attack your opponent's special defense though. So those are two main forms of stab. And uh, Heat Wave is your option for hitting Pokemon like Celesteela, Ferrothorn, Scizor for super effective damage, which will also be boosted by Neuro Force. Now a few other options. Morning Sun is a cool option. You can run like Calm Mind, Dual Stab, Dragon Pulse, Fall on Geyser. Um, so Morning Sun is a cool option because uh, it does have decent bulk at base 97 and base 97 HP. However, with the inability to run leftovers, I'm not quite sure. Like, during testing, I preferred just offensive three attacks combined to Morning Sun, but it is an option. Moon Guys Beam is also another option. It gives you a powerful attack if you want to use it over Heat Wave. Um, and it just gives you a nice move for Pokemon like Arceus Ghost and whatnot. And uh, opposing Lunala because... Uh, actually, opposing Lunala, or rather Dawn Wings Necrozma, 
can actually wall you uh, since it doesn't really mind too much about Dragon Pulse or Photon guys. So that's another thing, guys. If you're not running Heat Wave, Dusk Main Necrozma can wall you. So it's funny that your own form can wall you. So Heat Wave lets you touch that. Um, and then Moon Guys Beam lets you hit uh, Dawn Wings for the KO. So that's just something to note that those actually help you and those are just the other options. I have a lot of other options next to I'll be talking about them. The second set we have is Swords Dance. Now I think this one is a little bit better. Sorry that this doesn't have the attack investment. But it's Jolly. You always want to go Jolly on this Pokemon, right? You always want your max speed. Uh, being fast is an Arceus, all Arceus forms, Marshadow, um, Pokemon in that just general area. Unfortunately, like I said, you do sh just shy um, or you are just short of uh, Mega Gengar, which is pretty important because of Shadow Tag. But you always want to be faster then as many Pokemon as possible, right? Dark Rye and whatnot, uh, Skyman or Shaman Skyform. Uh, but Swords Dance, uh, this is of course you would have to use this one always to get into it because you use Sunsteel Strike. But the Swords Dance set is Swords Dance, Sunsteel Strike, Fortune Geyser, and Earthquake. Earthquake allows you to hit Dusk Main Necrozma as well as hitting Pokemon like Primal Groudon, which is pretty big in the tier. Um, Sunsteel Strike is really nice because this allows you to hit. Arceus Fairy and Fairy types in general, like Xerneas, um, which would otherwise be able to take, well, which could take maybe Dragon Stab for you, if anything, which you don't have on this, you have on other options, but this allows you to pick up the KO on those at plus two, incredibly hard, and again, Nero Force is boosting that, so it is, um, it will be uh, Extra Belt boosted, I'm going to refer to it as Extra Belt because again, similar to 1.2 times the damage, so really nice also allows you to hit dark types which otherwise wall you at the moment because photon geysers uh psychic and earthquake isn't going to be doing much especially if you're a veltal a veltal is immune to earthquake so a few other options than that outrage um well not a few but outrage is another option on this it does give you that dragon stab unfortunately uh this pokemon does not have <laughs> dragon claw uh but which would actually be pretty cool because of uh, its ability. So Dragon Claw would actually be a decent one. But Dragon uh, Outrage is your option. This really does give you that ability to break through dark types like Arceus Dark and Veltal. However, being locked into Outrage in a metagame where Dusk Main Necrozma is running around. So you'll get free setup if it's a Totemize or whatnot or Swords Dance. Or a metagame where Xerneas can just go for Geomancy. I'd be very, very, very careful about using Outrage. It is another option though because it is a strong stab and allow you to break through Ho. Speaking of Ho, it really doesn't take plus two Photon Geyser because Ho right now runs either Fizz Death, Band, I mean there are some other, I guess Scarf is also an option as well, but they're not typically special defensive. They're usually fully Fizz Death. So because this does attack them on their special defense, plus two, do a ton of them. The Ho does have great special defense anyway. Um, you could also use like Rock Slide slash Stone Edge as an option, but besides hitting, well, it hits Ho and it hits um, Eveltal in one hit, but then you miss out on what? Sun Steel Strike, which means you're not going to be able to hit uh, Arceus Dark, well, Arceus Fairy plus Xerneas. Uh, though they don't appreciate plus two Photon Geyser, but this one also lets you hit Eveltal as well. So Stone Edge is also an option, uh, but it can miss. I like having 100% accurate moves on my Pokemon. So the next set is Offensive Rocker, and it's just basically a rocker that. Um, can threaten Pokemon like Primal Groudon just because it can naturally take hits and uh, do a ton to it with Photon Geyser. So the set is Stealth Rock, Morning Sun, Photon Geyser, and Dragon Pulse. A few other options on that. Again, Calm Mind can probably put similar to the uh, Calm Mind uh, Dawn Wings Necrozma set that I did earlier. If you guys, like I said, there's a playlist down below, you can check that out. Um, but the idea of it is because your Photon Geyser is so strong, and your Z-move is extremely, extremely strong. Um, you're a Stealth Rocker that can threaten every single Defogger outside of Defog Eveltal and Defog Arceus Dark. So um, with Calm Mind, you get this super strong Z-move uh, from Ultra Necrozma. I think it's Light That Burns the Sky. That's, that's a ridiculous name. Like Light That Burns the Sky or... Um, something like that like I've used it I recorded with it but I didn't like light that burns the sky I'm pretty sure it's like that that's what's called light that burns the sky the light that burns that is it okay all right anyway yeah it's a ridiculously strong move but remember it is a psychic type attack so uh, in some cases be careful because if they have a Veltal they might switch into it but Dragon Ball is just nice stab in general uh, hits really hard unfortunately this Pokemon doesn't have Draco meter which is another one of its flaws uh, but that is 
Okay, and the reason it doesn't have Draco is because you don't actually have this Pokemon as, as its own, right? You have to Ultra Burst, right? Once you Ultra Burst in battle, you stay that form, so you're fine. But outside of battle, and the way a lot of Pokemon got Draco was obviously going to the Move Tutor person with your Dragon type, but it's not Dragon type until it uh, uses Ultra Burst, so yeah. Like I said, I will be having a showcase later today um, that you guys can check out if you want to see this Pokemon in option. And again, comment just another option. Dual. Uh, Double Dance is also a cool option. Now, this can go either special or physical, but it's Atomized, Swords Dance, Photon Geyser, Sunstrike. Uh, you can also go Atomize Calm Mind, Photon Geyser, Dragon Pulse. So, if you want to use Double Dance for both, um, pretty fun. But again, if you're using this, if you're going to start setting it up, set it up on this form, okay? Use this form when you're setting it up. Uh, because what this form allows you to do is um, pretty much have those resistances so you can set up on Xerneas, right? Even though in this form you don't have a resistance to Xerneas, but in this form you do. So you can Atomize up, then Swords Dance, or you can, let's say Xerneas is in you come in with this Pokemon, you can uh, Swords Dance up first, and then if like Pomegranate comes in for example and they decide to press his blades, you Ultra Burst into Necrozma Ultra, so um, you Atomize after you live their hit, or before you live their hit rather. What? Well, you Atomize and live their hit because you're faster. And now you have this plus two, plus two Pokemon that can set up. So again, this can also work for the Combine variant. I like physical a little bit better, uh, but it can also work for Combine. So for attacks lure, uh, this is basically using advantage of the fact that this Pokemon does have Rock Slide and that allows you to lure in Ho-Oh. Um, Fizz Dev Ho-Oh can live this, even though it is four times effective, but uh, for example, Dragon Pulse into Rock Slide can knock out uh, Eveltal, Offensive Eveltal. Um, well, I mean, Dragon Pulse does a lot to it. Offensive events, all anyway. But Rock Slide allows you to lure Pokemon, or to lure Pokemon like uh, Ho-Oh. And if it's not fully Fizz Death, it will die. Also, Ho-Oh can die to Dragon Pulse plus Rock Slide upon switching, because Neuro First is, of course, boosting your four times already effective move. Another options are Heat Wave, Scizor, Feral Thorn, Skarmory, all in one. Uh, again, Dusk Mane. Uh, and then Moon Guys Beam is also an option. Of course, if you do use Moon Guys Beam, you have to use Dawn Wings before using Ultra Burst. So hopefully that wasn't too hard to understand. Basically, if I want to use an SD set, if I want to use an SD set, this has to be um, Necrozma Dusk Main. Let me hopefully this saves. Yep, that's how it works. Okay. So this has to be Necrozma Dusk Main before becoming it. Now you can still use um, Combine on this set as well, but because it does have Sunstreet Strike, you have to use this, right? So before becoming it. So uh, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, again, Lurus can run Moon Guys Beam for hitting this as well as uh, Dawn Wings. Um, just having strong type Ghost Up Attack is just, it's, it's good in general, right? It's just really strong. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have for Ultra Necrozma. So you guys can let me know your thoughts. Uh, how has this Pokemon been working for you since Ultra Sun and Moon has been released for a couple days now? And I'm sure if you're watching this video, maybe you have played some Ubers or you're interested in playing Ubers. So I would like to know how this Pokemon has been working for you. If there's any other sets that you do suggest. Unfortunately, this Pokemon does not have Focus Blast, man. If it had Focus Blast, it'd be, just, it'd be better. It'd definitely be better being able to hit Dark Types. But maybe it'd be too good at that point, right? Maybe it'd be too good at that point. Or even uh, having access to Ice Beam or Moon Blast. Um, whoops, this is not supposed to have that. Uh, but in any case, let me know your thoughts. You guys can leave them down below. Uh, feel free as well to check out my friend shirt. This is limited only for 12 more days. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.